Hi foodies, I'm making authentic pad thai with an authentic pad thai sauce. It's very simple. The hardest part will be finding the ingredients. I'm using tamarind concentrate. That is a staple in authentic thai pad thai sauce. And it's not easy to find, but that's where online is your friend. I'm lucky enough to live near some ethnic markets. The second ingredient is going to be palm sugar. Again, that is tough to find as well, but um, sometimes it comes in a block and you can sort of shave the sugar off, but as you can see, it's um, it's a weird consistency, so it is it's a little bit uh, elbow grease to get it out of there, but um, I'm going to be putting uh, adding some water and putting it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to melt it, basically. Um, but like I said, you can find this sauce online <clears throat> for the ingredients for this sauce online. So I just microwaved for about 30 seconds and now I'm just whisking, because I love to whisk, to help dissolve it further. And it's okay if there's some lumps in there. It's not crucial that it be completely melted down. But this really, I mean, the American version of Pad Thai is so complicated. That's fish sauce, that you can find anywhere, and that's the tamarind concentrate. And that's it. That's the only three ingredients that go into this Pad Thai sauce. So, like I was saying, the American versions are so complicated with oyster sauce and brown sugar and soy sauce and this, that, just too many ingredients. And this is the real deal. This actually came from an authentic person, you know, from Thailand. So. Uh, who I will link I think I think it's even called Thai kitchen I, I, I forget I'll have to look but I'll link it so I'm adding shrimp this is um, my daughter Faith this is one of her favorite meals so uh, I'm making this for the kids to bring over them tomorrow because they're moving into their new house so it's always nice to have some food ready made just to heat up and go so that's shallots and garlic and I'm just sauteing them until the garlic gets a little brown and that too is uh, part of the authenticity of the pad thai. But that's about the extent of the authenticity for me because now I'm breaking with tradition. I'm not using rice noodles. The reason for that is I suck at making rice noodles. Every time I do, it turns into a big glob of gelatinous mass of nasty. So, I don't know. I guess I just don't have the touch. So I'm, I'm substituting with linguine noodles. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference. So, um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not really good at that. So now I'm adding eggs. You can add one or two. I add two. And of course, you're gonna, you know, scramble them a little bit there. And some people like to let them sit and get hardened before they incorporate it in. But me, I like making it to where. I spread the eggs around before they're fully firm because it keeps the sauce from being too dry. I don't like a dry pad thai. So this keeps the sauce kind of rich and creamy with that sweet and salty and sour and, and then we're going to add some heat which is you know the crux of thai cooking is it, it gets all of your taste buds going. So as you can see, my egg has kind of firmed up and now I'm going to re-add my shrimp that I had sauteed. I think, did I even mention that? <laughs> I think I might even left that out. Anyway, I sauteed some shrimp um, and you're going to want to remove that before you saute your shallots and garlic. And now I'm re-adding it. And you know, pad thai is one of those things you can add whatever veggie or protein you want. You can use tofu, you can use chicken you can just keep the egg. I found garlic flavored peanuts which elevates this to a whole new level and I've got cilantro, bean sprouts, lime, that see I'm packing it up to go, um, scallions, chives, some red chili peppers, the flakes, and of course sriracha sauce I love on my pad thai. So that's it and it is delicious and very healthy and super easy.